There's a lot going on at the Dodge brand. Separating Dodge from Ram was not an easy, easy decision, but it's a very important step to where we ultimately want to be and what we want to become in the coming years. Uh, we've been working really hard, and as you know, I come from the design office, so we've been working really hard getting the future product ready. And as we're sculpting these cars and putish, putting the finishing touches on these vehicles, we're realizing that we did achieve our goals of separating the Dodge from all the other brands. So the new vehicles will have a, a totally different feel, a, a much more high-end uh, interiors and a m much better driving characteristics, very differentiated. Even the exhaust notes will be different. The powertrains will be calibrated differently. Uh, the color schemes will be completely different. In essence, taking the mojo, so to speak, from the Challenger and putting it into everything that we make. So our cars will never be dull. They'll never be boring. People are going to buy them because they want to own something that makes them feel great. So that's kind of the end game for Dodge. In the meantime, we can't ignore the situation we're in right now. We're, we've done a lot already. As you know, the, the Nitro SE packages I hear are doing pretty well out there. Uh, that's what the vehicles were always meant to be. They're meant to be exciting looking. So we're going to get rid of that um, base, mid, high strategy and try to go to something where every car that lands on your showroom floor is a desirable object. So we started the experiment with the Nitro and it's, it's starting to take on some momentum. And next was Caliber. As you saw that we came out with packages that don't really have a huge price step. They're actually more within a, a narrow window, but they're very different vehicles. The Main Street so far seems to be the most popular, but if you actually investigate the rest of the models, you'll find that you can actually uh, satisfy some, some particular customers with, with objects like the Heat, vehicles like the Heat, and, uh, and eventually the, the top-end models um, like the Uptown. So keep checking those out and, and read more about them, and we'll be giving you more information to help you make better decisions. But going forward, we're taking that entire business model to everything in our lineup. So we're going to have 50 new packages uh, with cool names, and the, and the idea behind the names is to reflect what the vehicles are all about. So and it's also to help educate the customer and find a different way to have a conversation with them. So when they see Hero, so to speak, on the uh, internet, they know exactly what to ask for when they come to the dealership. It's not some cold uh, SXT, SE type of nomenclature. So we'll still have those nomenclatures existing on certain models to help uh, simplify, but eventually, by the time we get to uh, 2011 models, that will be gone and we'll be living off this new naming convention. So stay with me. I know it's a little strange right now, but I think it'll make more sense as we go through. So to recap again, uh, by now the orders are open. Every product has been touched. We have 50 new um, uh, lifestyle packages, which are all very cool, and eventually they will align. You'll see a hero is, is a hero, and it makes sense as we go throughout the rest of the nameplates, as is a Main Street, and so, so on and so on. So, uh, and we're open for suggestions. If you find that uh, this is a little confusing and you want us to tweak a little bit, by all means. You know, we're very open-minded. We'd love to, to get your feedback on these packages and see who's buying these cars. Is it a different type of person? Is it a new customer you've never seen before? Are people just scratching their heads or do they love it? So I can't wait to, to hear that feedback from you. Another, another place that we've been um, overhauling the Dodge brand is our website. So it's it's as these packages become available, more so when they land, uh, we're trying to time it so that when they land on the uh, showroom floor, so to speak, uh, the upsites are updated. So we're going to start transitioning. It'll, it'll take a little while, but eventually the upsites will match um, the showroom floor plan. And we'll also have the old models there still, as we currently have 09s as well. So we'll try to cover the gamut. And you're in for a treat. Uh, in the meantime, behind the scenes, we're working on an all-new website uh, coming later in the summer which will look like nothing you've ever seen. It's really going to be the second chapter in the evolution of the Dodge brand. Uh, we didn't wait till then, though. We already have a new apparel site, which is up and running now, and you can order directly through there. We also have a dealer uh, uh, discount, obviously, for the apparel. So you go check it out. It's dodgelife.com, and I'm actually wearing one of the shirts. And the shirts were actually designed by the same people that designed the cars. So they're very different, very cool. We have more of a traditional lineup for people that like a more traditional look, and we also have a very unique and youthful lifestyle-oriented uh, uh, design. So please enjoy those, and, and you'll see a few samples as we roll this video. So, again, uh, we're doing everything we can, and we'd love your feedback. So have fun out there and enjoy the new Dodge.